I'll be honest, I, I, I'm not overly bothered. I have a good record against Selby and probably not so good against Joe, so I wouldn't really mind who come through that, but obviously Joe played very, very well. And you've got until Thursday, you've got a few yeah. days off. A few days off, just chill out, do a bit more work with Chris Henry on the table and get ready. OK, well, on to more important things than that. Uh, you may see the setup of the Bulls here. You've got a few mental scars and some good memories of this, haven't you? You won yeah. Pot Quiz the first time. Yeah. Last not so year, good last year. Not so good last year. Good last year. OK, you're the first person to try it this year. It's Pot Quiz. You've got some fantastic prizes this year. One way trip to Mars. Best of 17. <laughs> Best of 17 with Terry Griffiths or a night out with me talking about my record collection. Choices are endless. The one way trip to Mars sounds good. That's so cruel. OK, here's the questions. And I've had a previous look at these. These are tough. These are tough. No help in plea from the crowd. And there will be no help from me as quiz master here. OK, first question. Every one of the questions you get right, you take a ball off, you then pot all the 15 reds, and then finish off potting the black. First question. You won your, master, your first Masters title this year, but who won the Masters the year you were born in 1986? Dennis Taylor. Cliff Thorburn. Close. Yeah, close. Someone old. Someone old. <laughs> That's nice. OK. Question two. Also in 1986, can you tell us what team became FA Cup champions that year? Some sort of joke. That's what I thought. Tough questions, aren't they? Pop quiz are getting harder every year. Chelsea. No, it was Liverpool. They won the double by beating Everton 3 1 at Wembley. I know this information. It's on this sheet. OK. Question three. You reached the semi finals here in 2009 against John Higgins. Yes? Yeah. You I know that bit. OK. Who are the other two semi finalists? Oh, dear. <laughs> it's crumbling before our eyes here, look. Sean Murphy and Neil Robertson? Yes, correct. Well done, well done. <laughs> what are you like on your highest breaks in events? Well, we'll find out in a minute. <laughs> <clears throat> what was your highest break in last year's World Championship? Oh. It's a tough one. It's not sort of something you necessarily remember, is it? It was over 100, I'll give you a clue. Oh, thanks. Uh... It was in the second round. 136. 129. Rubbish. OK, you've got one red off the table so far. Fifth question. You, may get, you, you are only one of two players to make a 146 break at the Crucible. Correct. He's interrupted the question as well. Only because he stole half my prize money, that's what I remember. Oh. <laughs> well, up was the other one. OK, so two. take two reds off the table and then you place the cue ball wherever you want on the table. I wouldn't have played that one. I would never have... Uh, yes, that's a good one as well. OK, white ball wherever you want. Place the cue ball anywhere on the table, and then uh, the time will start when you strike the cue ball. No music in the background, just run around the table. Take down to you to entertain. Taking your advice here. Oh, you're going to play that one first? Advice, but I'll miss this. OK. Don't worry, nobody will laugh. And the clock's running. As you'd expect. In stroke. Oh, oh, he's not so happy oh. with that, but he's still staying on the same side of the table. He's using very little leather around this. This is perfect play, really. This... There's been no foot movement at all. He's now going to move. He's now going to move, but he's fast. <laughs> he's very fast. Short, sharp cue action. It's working well. He's a slow drag screw back in there. Now he's bl in a blur around the table. Very little movement of the cue ball. This is perfect. Oh, My oh, goodness. Oh, this is looking fantastic. This is why he won it the first year. God knows what happened the second year. <laughs> only, only 35 seconds. This is superb play. It's an important red. And he gets it in as he was expected. And the perfect cue ball. This is beautiful. The crowd are enjoying this. He's got to wait for the cue. 50 seconds only. This is so fast. He's a blur around the table. Just a shame he's got a ginger beard. A big blur. <laughs> this, this is... This is I've got to say, the bar has been set incredibly high for everybody else. One minute and four seconds. Yeah. That's... Only two reds off. Yeah. 